Today's video is on constructive and destructive interference. For odd periods, this will be due on Monday, uh, March 31st. For even periods, this is due on Tuesday, April 1st. Just some really quick reminders before we get started on today's video. Remember that your drawing should be completely finished and ready for approval. Um, I currently only have 31 of you that are currently approved. Remember, I should be able to see all three views. You should have correct drawing and shading. They should definitely be creative and unique, and you do need to label what materials you are using. Uh, please also remember that you need to be bringing supplies to begin building your instrument. Today we're going to be talking about um, this idea of wave interference, and the definition is that when two waves meet while traveling along the same medium, remember medium is just another word for material, uh, they create a, a net or total, net just means total, wave depending on the individual waves. So for example, if you were to look right here at, um, sorry, I used a different color, at this example of two water droplets in water, you can kind of see that between these they're actually creating a kind of different pattern than this just outward ripple effect. That's because at this point waves are actually interfering with each other. The same idea if you ever think about um, playing on the trampoline with your friends. If you've ever um, jumped at some point and someone else also jumped, but for some reason both of you did not jump very high, or if, for example, you jumped while someone else was standing there, um, and when they jumped, they jumped super high, those are both examples of how your waves are interfering with theirs to either make them jump high or not jump high at all. The first one that we're going to talk about today is what is called constructive interference. Um, and constructive usually means something that's good, a um, so constructing or building. And in this case, what this means is that when two waves on the same side of equilibrium, so if you kind of look here and you imagine that this right here, um, this line is going to be what is called equilibrium. If two waves are on the same side of it, so in this case both of my waves are above it, they will result in a larger net wave, so a larger total wave. Essentially, you are adding waves together. So if we were to imagine at time zero, we have two waves moving towards each other, that's what these velocities mean, um, and that they both have a height of x, let's say, for example, that x was two, they both had a height of two. Um, when they come together uh, at time equals one second, then they're going to have a height of two plus two, or four, um, and as they f start to move away, then you'll see that they separate out, and again, they have heights of 2. Um, so you can kind of see here that at this point, there is addition going on of waves, which is what we call constructive interference. The next type of interference that we talk about is destructive, and destructive usually is a thing that's not good. Um, so in this case, when two waves are on opposite sides of equilibrium, so again, let's imagine that right here, this part is equilibrium, so we can see one's on top of equilibrium, one's below equilibrium. When two waves are on opposite sides, this will result in a smaller net or total wave. Um, and essentially this ends up being subtraction of waves. So let's say that, again, this here, its amplitude was 2, and over here its amplitude was 2 as well. Um, but we can see that this one above, we're going to go ahead and call that positive 2, because it's above equilibrium. And this one right here we're going to call negative 2 because it's below equilibrium. So if I have positive 2 and negative 2, um, that's saying positive 2 minus 2 will end up equaling 0. So we can see here at this point when those waves meet, they create nothing um, because they're subtracting, so we don't see any wave anymore. Um, and then again, as they continue to move away from each other, they will um, you can see B has now moved over here. Uh, again, its amplitude is going to be that negative 2, and over here the amplitude of A is going to be positive 2. So just to give you a couple more um, examples, let's talk about if constructive interference happens with um, waves that have different amplitudes. So let's say that I have um, here a wave that has an amplitude of 3, and here I have a wave that has an amplitude of 4, and they are moving towards each other. Um, so velocities are towards each other. When they actually meet each other, again, they're going to end up adding together. So 3 plus 4 would give me a larger wave that I would say 3 plus 4 equals 7. Um, and then, again, that's right as they meet, so they will continue moving away from each other. So over here now, 
I'll have my 4 amplitude and over here I'll have my 3 amplitude and we can see that this is one is now moving away and this one's now moving away from the center. For destructive interference with different amplitudes, let's say that um, I have a wave that is moving over here um, that is positive 3, similar to what I last type of example that we want to talk about is just for constructive interference of actual waves. So let's say, for example, I had a wave like this, and then I also had a wave like this. So we can see the same exact wave, but I was adding them together. So they were, for example, two sounds being played at the same time. Um, what this would end up equaling is a very large wave like this. Okay. Um, for destructive interference, let's say again I have the same starting wave, but now um, for my second wave it's kind of going the opposite way. So we can see that when this part's going up, this part's going down, this part's going down, this part's going up, up, down. So we can see they're actually opposite together. So when I add these two together, what will end up equaling is nothing because they are kind of destroying each other. That's it for today. Please make sure that you bring your supplies and your completed drawings for work time on Monday or Tuesday. See you later.